Hey guys, uh, sorry I haven't shaved in a while, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to say something. And I realized, you know, I called this uh, site Moments of Reason, and somebody, uh, somebody said um, uh, Moments. They called me uh, Moments. I liked it. Hey, what's up, Moments? <laughs> moments. That's that's cool. Anyway. Uh, I just wanted to say something and and people uh, about you know God and people saying it's a complete lie and it's fables and myths and fallacies and it's not true at all okay so I just want to give you something to think about and um, I don't know how to put it but I, I just thought all right, a lot of people say, you know, all right, this is something that puts, pissed me off, but I, I, it ticks me off a little bit. It's it's maybe righteous indignation. Somebody said something, and a blogger, and you probably know it, but, and I don't mean to dig, but I felt that this was a dig, and it's a dig at Christianity, and it, it it's a small, 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 small petty thing. But to me, it's a little, how you say arrogant, or how you say, um, it's just one of those things that gnawed me in the back of my mind, and it just aggravated me, and it's just a pet peeve, there you go. And so, and I, I've expressed other pet peeves, like I hate, uh, you know, certain terms, you know, uh, you know, if you said, uh. You know, if somebody says, holy crap, that bothers me. I don't know why, it just bothers me. It just, you know, or when somebody just, Jesus, H, F, you know, whatever. I just, it just, you know, it comes across and it just, ugh. And uh, also, so it, this is one of those little type of things. And I've expressed that. And it just kind of just gets in the back of my head and it just sticks there. And so somebody said in their blogs, and they said, oh, I began to take Christ, oh, no, it is. I, I, began, I began to take God seriously. As if <laughs> all of a sudden God is serious <laughs> when you're the one that is starting to get serious about God. He's always been serious, you know. So if he wasn't serious, if he's always been serious and you're just now getting serious, then what does that make you? And if, and if he's always been serious and you're just getting serious about him and then you're not serious about him now, now what does that make you? You know, so I mean, I just have the saying like, you know, like David and the Philistines, you know, if you say certain things about the Lord, it will offend me slightly. And I know even if this person didn't say it to offend, it just kind of seems like sort of arrogant to me. And I think that, you know, that is just, um, it's like, you know, I mean, just that whole mentality is like, oh, now I'm going to start giving you respect. As if that person didn't deserve respect. People deserve respect all the time. And... So in order for you not to give somebody respect and that you carry around this, oh, you can't respect people unless, you know, this, that, or that, you know, but there are some other things about it. Like I, I want to award an internet, I, not me personally, but a company that I did some animations for, uh, and I didn't design the work, but I did the animations of these creatures and, um, they won an international design award in strategy and ideal concepts uh, for Business Week. And uh, it was really interesting because um, one of the technologies that were on there that got an award was R RIF. And I think RIF is cool, it's just radio controlled, you know. But we have that all the time, radio control frequency, is when you start to, you know, it's, that's not the problem I have with that that whole transponder and you know the mark of the beast kind of thing that's not as when you tag it on people and you put a number on people as if 
you know, they're yours or they belong to you or, you know, branding them people, you know, basically barcode. And so my attitude about it is don't support it. Don't support barcodes. Don't support anybody barcoding you. You know, uh, I hear Citibank is going to get, you know, in order to start using that, they're going to use a keychain. And so uh, they're going to put it on a keychain. Uh, this RIF and so they call it smart money Citibank and so they got to make it feel nice for you and make it you know appealing to you and that's how they got to do it and also they can quickly just give you money uh, they can just give you oh you use it you know we'll give you a rebate so people will be like uh, uh, money money I saved I saved I S A V you save you save some money but you lost your soul you know, <laughs> you know that's what the Bible say. What man, what a man gain if he gain the whole world but loses his soul. A moment of reason, you know, uh, a moment to think about, you know. But the thing I wanted to say about that is that when uh, if the Bible, which is a big myth and fallacy, okay, and it's not very serious, it's just a bunch of stories and fables okay and people always say well prove god prove it's real prove it's true and all this other stuff right and so uh you know which is a trip because really science is a theory and base theory equates to well that's just my opinion my ideal so science is really the theory this is not so these things happen but the thing about it is somebody wrote down two 2,000 years ago or how many ever years ago that eventually this sort of thing with Mark of the Beast and all that stuff and you know and I'm saying it because I'm concerned about people not because I'm afraid of them you know I'm saying it because I'm concerned about people being you know losing their souls that's why I you know because it says people is going to you going to it's going to happen and you're going to lose your soul and that's it if you do it now, you don't have to believe it. And you can think it's a lie. But this is my moment of reason. If the Bible, which is 2,000 years ago, spoke of this, and you can't prove anything that believe in the Bible or just all stories and all that stuff, yet you can't see it, you can't see God, he's all invisible, and you can't prove any other thing in the Bible. And so anything God does, you can't see. Anything the devil do, you can see. And you can see these things happening. So one of them got to be the telling the truth. You know, and one of them has got to be lying. To me, my train of thought, my, my way of reasoning, if... It said it was going to happen, and it's happening. Even though you can't see any reference that that's coming from, you know, the people in it has died. The places still exist. But yet, these things you can see happening. And it says in the Bible, when you, how do you know in the end times? It says, well, when you see the wind, when you see the wind blow and you smell the cool air, you know it's, it's, it's rain coming. When, when you see the leaves starting to fall, and you see uh, the, 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 you know, autumn is coming, winter's coming. And so you start to prepare. So that's my uh, moment of reason. You don't have to believe it. <laughs> if the Bible ain't true, it sure ain't lying about that. <laughs> so anyway, like I say, you know, you could take it seriously or not. But, you know, I'll be honest with you. The Bible says, a fool says in his heart, there is no God. You say it in your heart. That's why I'm not trying to change your mind. I don't have to try to change your mind. It ain't going to help. But you know, faith comes from the heart. You know, And I figured the reason why I finally figured out this in the form of control with this stuff is that um, basically if your money is smart, your legal and all your information is on that and everything has to do with that, you know, and your money is tied into who you are. Basically, a dollar has only one face, Benjamin Franklin. But when they put the face on you, 
and the money is tied into who you are, then whenever they get pissed off at you, they can just turn you off.